Hello, and welcome to episode 6 of Let's Play Kingdom Come Deliverance on Alive Father. Um, we've just had a kip, and um, we've woken up at 6am. 6, 6 um, nothing will be open as it never is. But we left off the previous episode um, just after we found Ginger and returned to Neuhof. Um, we have now been tasked with going to Ushitz and finding the bandit who uh, who walks with a limp. I have to eat something. My insides are shriveled up with the hunger. Yes, we're very, very hungry. Um, yeah, so we, we've been tasked with going to Ujits. Oh, sorry, darling. Um, let me get out your way. Where's she gone? Oh, she was quick. Okay, then. Um, yeah, so we've been tasked with going to Ujits and um, finding the bandit with a limp. However, um, now that the business we've got isn't as urgent... I think now's the time where we can actually look to do a lot of the things we haven't had time to do so far. I.e. going to speak to uh, Teresa, um, getting kind of thanking her properly and, uh, and paying a bit of attention to her considering she saved our life. Um, we also want to train a bit more, try and get some, meta, some better gear um, and just basically do all of the things that we haven't been able to do so far because uh, we've been on such urgent work. We're not going to be able to get any breakfast from the uh, from the inn, unfortunately, because it's not open. But I think we do have some dried meat and fruit and everything in our inventory. So uh, we'll have a bit of breakfast and then we'll hit the road. Yes, we were very, very hungry and that has not even touched... Well, it's it's helped a little bit, but not a lot. Um, well, we'll uh, we'll head on an, on the road back to Neuhof. I want to speak to the lady about getting a horse because uh, that hungry. was an option. Yes, we know you're hungry, Henry. Um, that was an option, but I've got a feeling they're just going to say, oh no, the bandits killed them all. But we'll uh, we'll give it a try and we'll see what we can do. Um, so we'll uh, we'll head to Neuhof first and then to Ratai. Okay, um, it seems like the uh, the lady is not at home, and for some reason these people don't like that I'm here. What's going on there? I don't know, but I just saved all your blooming lives. Maybe you could be a bit more grateful. <clears throat> You're gonna get a slap in a minute, love. You. What the hell was that? Right, look, I mean, the lady's not here, so I doubt she's going to be able to sell us a horse anyway. Um, and I don't know why they're all acting like ungrateful gits, so never mind. We'll um, we'll just continue to rat eye and uh, see what we can do there. Definitely need some food. I wonder if it looks like this tavern's open now. Um, let's see if we can get a meal here. I think we're uh, I think we're fairly safe here. We probably don't need our armor on, but we'll give it a wash first before we take it off. I think there's a trough there, isn't there? Got water in it. No, there is a there is a trough somewhere around here, I'm sure. Is that it? Yeah. We uh, we are gonna need to go to the baths again, I think, though. 
Yeah, I mean, it, it did an all right job, though. Right, let's get our... Um, well, I don't know if we just want to get chains right there. Um, let's, let's, let's go in the barn, and then we can put our armor on the horse. There we go, now we're looking a bit fresher. Or a bit more fresh, I should say. Um, these trousers need a stitch. I suppose we're going to have to speak to that blooming tailor again, aren't we? Right, um, innkeeper, can you, uh, can you please do some innkeeping? I'm a, I'm a famished. Yes, I think we'll get two lots of pork. Um, and some lentil mash. And, uh, and we got some water on the uh, on the horse, so we'll give him a bit of a tip and all. Here, with a little something on top for a good measure. Thanks a thousand times. Oh, there we go. He's polite again now. Okay. Um. Right. Let's. Uh, well, let's let's get our water off the horse first. Okay. Um, it's it's only half past eight, so we've uh, we've got plenty of time before the shops even open in uh, in Ratai. Let's uh, let's have some breakfast. Lovely, we're nice and uh, nice and nourished now. Okay then, um, so I think now we are ready to go off to uh, Ratai. Yeah, nigh on, uh, nine on nine o'clock, so we're just in time. We'll have to go and speak to that horrible tailor again if he'll uh, if he'll even take our orders after last time. Yeah, with well them pebbles. Oh look, he's open. Already going better than last time, I love. Right, you. Good day to you. Yeah, good day to you as well. Um, maybe we can get her a dress. <sighs> Not for these prices, we cannot. Dear me. Let's uh, let's see if we can get her a cheaper dress. <laughs> um, yeah, go on. We'll get her the blue one. Um, I. I, I don't know if she'll actually wear it like, but we'll have a go. See what happens. Uh, we're definitely going to haggle with him. I'm not interested in giving him any a penny more than he. Uh, Let's we talk need about the price. Okay, we got him down to one thirty. That'll do. I knew we'd come to an arrangement. See, we'll repair our uh, uh, waff and frock and our boots. Sixty one's not too bad. Sure. Okay, we're down to uh, 75 groschen. Well, um, we'll be getting some more, though, when we start doing some work. I hope uh, hope Teresa likes her dress. And I hope she wears it, actually, because um, I don't know how that would work. Just in terms of the, the game mechanics. But maybe. Oh look, Peshek's home. Delightful. There you go, you'll be happy in there, uh, Pebbles. 
Where's Teresa? She likes to knock about round here reading, doesn't she? There she is. You're predictable, little lady. Greetings, Henry. Um, I brought you something. I brought you something. Clothing. Oh, we can't give her the bread or the whatever we picked up for her. We can give her the dress, though, at least. Yes. Oh, how lovely! Thank you. Is that all? All right then. Um. Well. Uh. I mean, it was hundred and forty-two quid, love. But sure. Um. Shall we take a walk? What now? Shall we take a walk? You don't give up, do you? Well, let me think. And where would you care to go? Um. Well, we just go for a stroll along the river, huh? What if we took a stroll along the river? Why not? That sounds lovely. Shall we go? Yeah. Let's go. I mean, you could have worn the dress I paid 142 quid for you for, but never mind. You just wear whatever feels comfortable, love. That's, that's fine. I mean, uh... Maybe we should get you one of the... That was a good idea to go for a walk. Hmm. Not that I don't like the mill, but you get tired of it. So I'm glad you took me out. <laughs> You're a fast love. It's meant to be a I'd stroll, not a power walk. In Prague one day. Have you ever been to Prague? No, I haven't. I have been in Kuttenberg, but Prague must be much bigger. <laughs> I've heard it's pretty smelly, though. Yeah, so many people in one place. So many assholes. God. It's disgusting. You're, uh, you're very quick, Teresa. I love to listen to that young preacher, Jan Hus. They say he preaches in the common tongue. Everyone's talking about it. I bet he's just handsome. That's why the women dote on him. <laughs> you're a right one. A preacher doesn't need good looks for people to listen to him. And what about that fine fellow at St. James? I know full well why all the girls have started going to confession, and you have too. <laughs> Don't give me any of that. You scoundrel. Well, all right. I admit I find him handsome. How do you know? That doesn't make me a bad Christian. Well, I've seen a lovely lady at the bathhouse the other day. suggest such a thing. Tell you what. Oh, she's That's running now. What? Are you? Are we? Last one is a slimy slug. <sighs> All right, love. I'm not letting you in. I mean, I kind of feel like we should though. Nah, I, I don't. I don't think she would respect that. Let's uh, show up. You asked for it, Teresa. Oh, we're getting out of breath now, though. Yeah, you're gonna be a slimy slug, Teresa. She's not much for door done at all, is she? Dear me. <laughs> Miles ahead. Oh, we're having a tortoise and the hare situation now. Where exactly are we running to? Oh, there we go. Right. Where's she gone? What? Teresa. I'd love to sit next to her, but I don't know where she is. Oh, there she is. Sorry, I got a bit carried away. We're running. That was fun. Yeah. Sit down here next to me, Hal. And what about you? I heard you're helping Sir Radzig. Sir Radzig has me running in a few errands. I have to say, he always treats me well, and I make a wage. So you've had your turn of luck. What's it like serving nobility? Um. Well, yeah, it's, it's work like any other. Uh, I don't know. I suppose it's a job like any other. Of course. I'm sure it's no different than being a charcoal burner. <laughs> You'll have to try harder than that. Oh, 
coming. Ah, oh, Henry, what am I going to do with you? Wandering the land, turning innocent girls' heads. Um. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't sound like a joke to me. Let's do that. What? I hope your knees didn't buckle too. You rascal. You know what? Ask me another time. Another time? The next time you come to see me. You will come and see me again, won't you? Uh, I don't know. I am awfully busy. Well, if you do find the time, I'll be glad to see you. But now I have to go. Can I go with you? Just a little way. I don't want anyone to gossip. Oh well, that was a nice walk, wasn't it? Thank you for coming with me. Please come and see me again. Yeah, I will. Tell you, Uncle. The sod off. <laughs> Peshik. Right then, um I guess we'll what time is it? Twelve, right, let's go and see uh let's go see Captain Bernard and see if we can get some training in. Can we still not give these guys any money? Jesus Christ be praised. Um I noticed some of the Scarlet's men look like they've been in the wars. Has something happened to you? There's a local brawler who takes on all comers for bets. If you beat him, you get some silver. If you lose, you have to do his job for him. Oh, I'll have to look into that. Hmm. Okay. Um, sure, let's ask him about that. Did you find out what actually happened? What do I know? The lords are at each other's throats, but it's us that has to suffer for it. Same as always. I reckon they was after the silver mines, wasn't they? Yes, they were. Um, how's life in Ratai? How does life in Ratai suit you? It'd be fine if we didn't have to sleep in hovels and beg for alms. And the bailiff is always on our backs, the bastard. But what can we do? We've got nowhere else to go. Yeah, I agree. It makes absolutely no sense that I can't give you money, but I can't, so... I guess... Good luck. Right, um, let's... Let's just nip in here and get our armour on. Actually, don't we have, um... I'm sure we got a job from Bernard. Yes, we do. It's to kill the camp leader. Um, so, if we go to the inn, down to the cross, and then follow this path down to the river, and then come back on ourselves, we should find the camp. Okay, then, well, let's take care of that first. We'll get some money for it. Anyway, Pebbles, work to be done. Right, um, I think we'll leave the horse around here, and that might be the camp there. So, we'll, uh... Is that Marigold? Let's park the horse up. And uh, let's just check if this is Marigold, because I would like to learn how to make them potions, um, if we can. It is Marigold. Did I just hear somebody? I could have sworn I just heard somebody shout. Yes. Over there. That's the bandits. Well, we'll uh, we'll pick the marigold once we're finished with them, I think. 
So this must be the camp here. Oh, there's more marigold down there. Fine day for camping, eh, lads? Come find out. Oh, he's got a shield. Oh, there's quite a few of them, actually. They're not very well geared, though. Oh. It's him down. And him. Is that all of them? Yeah, they were no match for us. Let's see if they had anything. Oh. Oh! Dear me, Henry. I think we'll do it with a sword. Okay, they're all dead. Um. Right, let's see if they've got anything. Yes, we want a Spurs. We'll take the ear. And we'll take his ear and all. Yep, we'll have his wine and his groschen. He had a decent amount. Marigold. Yep, we'll take that. Nah, you can keep the rest. And uh, there's another one somewhere around here. There he is. Yeah, we'll have his arrows, uh, his groschen, his wine, his gloves. Yeah, we'll take all of this. Lovely. Yeah, we're overloaded again now, though. Don't forget the latest spurs. Yeah, we've got them. Let's see if they've got anything else knocking about in here. Is that another one? It is. Maybe another two. Who's there? Nobody. What's that? Nothing. Oh, we can't sprint. Well, now. Look Why did that miss? <laughs> Um. Oh. What? Yep, there was another one, and he's got a boat. What are you doing here? This is bad. We're overloaded as well. Let's see if we can dodge it. Two arms, get over here. Ooh. Over here. Where I think we dodged that. Quick? Uh, pay you, pay you fine. I'll let you go. Oh, we did get hit by the arrow. So be it. I'll do. Go on. On your way. Where's your mate? Is he gone? He has. Well, so long as they clear out, that'll do. Is there any more of them knocking about here, then? Right. And what will we find in here, then? Do we have a torch? I think I chucked all the yeah, I chucked all the torches away. Well, it's not that dark in here anyway. Lovely. Wonder if Teresa would like that ring. Should probably buy her a new one, though. Never mind giving her knockoff stuff from bandits. <laughs> now, there was definitely another voice out here, so there might be one still knocking about. There he is. Is that the one we let go? Well, I never. Hello? Hmm. 
Why is he? I think it is the one we let go. Where is everyone? Quick! They're all dead, mate. You're by yourself. Well, he's not going to be bothering anyone. His leader's dead. Let's uh, let's pick that marigold and we'll get back to Captain uh, Bernard. We'll stick some of this gear on the horse as well because we're overloaded. I think we're going to take that perk to uh, to give us more carry weight because uh, it, this is happening a lot lately. Right, we've uh, we've moved the gate on the horse. We've picked an awful lot of marigold, and uh, we're going to head back to Captain Bernard now to see what our reward is, to get some more work potentially, and also to see if we can continue our training. That's the lad right there. Which sword have you got then? Is that the stalwart? I took care of that camp. I've taken care of the camp. Where's the proof? Here it is. Oh. That Not is bad. A nice bit of news. I've had another report. Some folk were ambushed to the west of Ratai, on the hill across the river from the gallows. It would be worthwhile to check it out. Very well, I'll take a look. Good lad, um, can we train a bit more though? Let's try that. I have some uh, trophies. Let's see. What a collection. My boy, you're God's own avenging angel. Wow, that's that's a lot of money. Uh, training. Let's... Uh, let's do some defense. Can you teach me how to defend myself better in combat? Certainly. Uh, can we do that yet? I'm interested in more advanced techniques. Wouldn't you rather learn the basics first? I'm guessing not. Okay, then. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. What? Oh, maybe another time. Maybe I, another time. I didn't realize you were charging for this stuff. Let's uh, show up. We'll uh, we'll come back later on, but uh, for now, we uh, we maybe want to speak to the apothecary and see if he can tell us how to make. A marigold decoction. Uh, we want to get our gear repaired and we want to go and check out that camp if we've got enough time. Uh, it's getting on a bit. Maybe maybe we don't have enough time to do it tonight. But we'll go and get our gear repaired and uh, see if we can figure out how to make that potion. And then uh, we'll set off to the, the bandit camp in the west tomorrow. All right, Smithy. Let's see what you're charging. Oh, can we not get in there? Well, why'd you leave the door open then if we can't get in there? Goodness sake. A good day to you. What do you need? Uh, yeah, we'll select all. Oh, that's a lot. We're gonna have to haggle. Let's have a word about the price. See now, I knew we'd come to. All right, we got him for one ninety-five. That's uh, that's all right, I suppose. Um, right, so our gear has been repaired. I don't think the Gambeson was, though. Yeah, the Gambeson probably needs the tailor. Alright, then let's go see the Rotten Bugger again. Right, you wait there, Pebbles. I wonder if we can, um... No, I was just wondering if we could pull the bell. <laughs> right, uh, tailor then. Are you still open? Probably not. Oh, he is. Hello, you. All right, Robin Hood. Jesus Christ be praised. Uh, repairs. A hundred and forty. You people are extortionists. Well, we're not giving him much. I'd like to discuss the price. Well, we got up to hundred and twenty. That's a sum I can live with. Do I suppose? Um, well, I mean, we probably spent more money than we made that. Um. But a lot of our gear was knackered already, so I suppose it's not too bad. Actually, while we're there, let's buy some uh, some less nice clothes that we may be able to use for this fight club. 
There we go, that should be uh, sufficient for fighting, and uh, we just need to find the guy who's doing it now. Let's just see if we can sell um, the sword that we picked up from that bandit to uh, to him. Uh, we probably should have been wearing our good clothes though, but never mind. Um, going on here. Oh, right, it's horny. Yeah, it wouldn't let us off the menu there for some reason. Um, but I'd like to enter that tournament as well. Um, so, let's uh, let's see. We can sell that to him for 35 groschen. I mean, meh, I'm not that bothered about that. Sure, we'll sell him that. We'll see what else we can sell him as well. Um... Nothing really. I think we might keep that shield. For all I didn't, I was kind of going off the idea of a shield. The uh, the main stat that we've built up is strength, so it doesn't really make any sense to all of a sudden start with the swords that need agility. Um, and the perks that we've got are specific to long swords as opposed to short swords, which also use strength. So I think we will use the shield and we might as well just keep that one for now, but it will need repairing. Um, right, let's uh, let's sell him. Sure, we'll just sell him for 35. And uh, let's talk about repairs. Oh, we've got some other stuff that we can sell as well. Right, well, we'll try and do that, but we also want him to repair the shield. 63 groschen. Um, well, sure, we'll go on and um, rip off a lot of them. But never mind. Um... At least we've got a shield now, a serviceable shield. We will go and see if we can catch the armourer and sell them bits of armour that we've got before he shuts. But I think it is getting on a bit now. Yeah, it's 8 o'clock and I, that's probably when they shut. I don't know exactly when they shut, but it's probably somewhere around 8 o'clock, if I had to guess. Well, he's still open for now. Hey, hey armourer. God be with you. Yes, you too. Let's talk about trade. Um, let's see. We can sell them. Yeah, we'll sell them the hunter's gloves. Yeah. That's all them. 50 groschen. It's not great, but sure. Um, we're not going to get much more than that, and we, uh, we'll we take the reputation for when we sell them something that is worth uh, a bomb. Right, um, so we, uh, we want to go and see that fella about the tournament, for sure. I definitely want to enroll in that. I think we'll do very well. So uh, let's gallop up to the... Uh, yeah. The top castle, and we'll see if we can catch him. I don't know. I don't know if he's going to be there this late on, though. Now it's somewhere around the combat arena. This we know. Uh, don't see him anywhere. Not one of these guards by any chance, is this? Let's see. Oh, okay, right, we need to see him in the morning. Right, never mind then. Right, we want to go around the uh, Scallet's slums then and see if we can find out who's doing this fight club and we'll enter that and all. We uh, we need to start getting better at fighting. You there, begging. Be nice, it'd be really nice if I could give these people money. Tonda. God be with you, good sir. Um... Right, that's not helping. So we need to find somebody who can tell us about this fella. Oh look, we've got a vagabond. Could that be you? Good day to you. Good day to you, vagabond. Uh, what are you hanging around you for? Hanging around for? Don't you have any work to do? No, I don't. Sigismund's marauders took everything I had and reduced me to beggary. Um, what's it about? What's it about? Since I lost everything, I've been doing whatever I could to survive. 
Only I got caught with my hand in someone else's pocket. And since then, I can't even set foot on the square without the catchpoles pouncing on me. So you're a pickpocket? All right, get to the point. But keep your hands where I can see them. My honestly begged Russian were taken from me by that bastard of a guard, Pazdera. He claimed I stole them and took them for himself, the swine. Well, if you can get them from his pocket back into mine, where they rightfully belong, I'll give you a share and teach you a handy trick too. What do you say? Mate, I can, again, I can speak to these people for you. I'm not just going to go and steal things. I'm not a thief. Find someone else. A pox on you, your kin and all your descendants. Call yourself a Christian? Turning your back on a neighbour in need? God be with you. You call you yourself a Christian, do you? Thou shalt not steal, vagabond. Thou shalt not steal. And by the way, I'm in the employ of Sir Radzig, so you're lucky I'm not holding you off to the dungeon myself, you cheeky bugger. Right, where's the, uh... You, can you tell me anything about this man? Jesus Christ be praised. God be with you. Kurash, I almost feel sorry for you, mate. Yeah, about that money. About that money you owe me. Maybe I could tell you where you can find some. No, money. I, do, I want to forgive you. you. Forgive my debt, that is. I want to forgive you debt anyway, mate. But go on. All right then. Start talking. No. First, I want you to swear you won't be demanding anything else from me. Okay. Very well, then. Talk. When we were running from Scalitz, I heard something. I don't know who said it. It's a miracle I could even hear it in that chaos. Either way, somebody hid a lot of coin under a dovecote. Under a dovecote? And that's it? That's all I know. How many dovecots could there be in Scalitz? If you've got the guts to go back there, you're bound to find it. Fine. We'll see. Well, that's that's something. Um, I mean, we don't really... It, it's a bit nasty to be asking him for... Can you tell me anything about this white club? Good health to you. Let's uh, let's have some supper, and um, we'll see if anyone in the uh, the inn knows anything about it. Maybe have a game of dice and all. Good day to you. Does anyone need any help? Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? Aye, there could be something for you. Okay. We're told our local gamekeeper was looking for help with something a while back. Why don't you ask him if he still needs help? Oh, and another thing. Sir Anish is convening the Ratoy tourney again at the Upper Castle. It's always a great occasion with jewels all day long. Oh yes, you we'll be... You can still enrol tomorrow, if you think you're good enough. Certainly good enough, we will. That's not all. You're the blacksmith's son from Scalitz, ain't you? The bailiff here could probably use you. He's got some jobs for the Scalitz refugees. But he's not sure who's good for what. He was moaning about it here yesterday. Oh, and another thing. Dear me. It might not be to your liking, though, on account of it's the executioner who's looking for someone. At least, that's what I've heard. Of course, folk here don't want to have anything to do with him. Only the more they avoid him, the more they gossip about him. We'll have a talk with them. Um, you got anything else? Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? Hmm. I don't know. Dear me, I'm, I'm surprised I ever got you to shut up. Uh, right, let's uh, let's see. Let's have a. We'll have two beers and we'll have um, some cooked pork. Yeah, we'll have two. No, we'll have one cooked pork, bit cheese, and a bread roll. And uh, go on, you can have a tip. Here you are, with a little topper. My word. Thank you kindly. You're very welcome, innkeeper. Um, you look like a bit of a dodgy sort. Do you know about this fight club? Good day to you. What do you need? Farewell. Apparently not. Right. Well, let's uh, let's enjoy our supper. We want to be out the way of the uh, the rain, though. Let me have a word with him about it and all.
Got to be with you. Yeah, you too. Yeah, you can't tell us anything. Right. Oh, hello, Ale House Beard. My pleasure. You order that. Yeah, we'll have two beers, bread roll, cheese, and cooked pork. Oh, we made a pig of ourselves now. It's uh, it's nine o'clock. This is about when they start chucking people out, isn't it? Uh, we we will have a we'll have a word with the bailiff in the morning as well. Maybe it'll give us a lead, but we're going to need to speak to uh, the what's his name about the tournament. Um, do we still have our hat? Yeah, it was on the horse, right? We'll stick that on because it's raining. And then uh, we'll head up to the. What's that uh, exclamation point? Let's just have a quick look at that in case it's something about this fight club. Oh, there's a couple of them. Right, this one is you? No, you. Oh, who is it? Is it you? Alex. Jesus Christ be praised. How are you coping? As well as we can, Henry. You... Well, I've been once. And I don't think... Ah, it's a shame. Because I was going to ask a favour of you. I'm sure you know there's a lot of hungry mouths here, so I thought you might be able to help. Um... A fine day. I, I can't feed all of them, but I'll do what I can. I don't know. I'm not such a great hunter that I could feed all the refugees. No, no, that's not what I meant. It's the townspeople here who have a taste for game. They want to live like the nobility, see? A few of the burghers have been to see me already, to ask if we'd try our luck in the woods. They promised us supplies in exchange. Flour, lard, eggs, and the like. But we can't afford to take the risk of poaching. We're barely tolerated as it is. Oh God, he's if on about the torture. Will you go away, God? him from the nearest tree. But I was thinking, you... You're in Sir Radzik's garrison, and you go hunting with Sir Hans. You could help us. Sure, mate. I'll do what I can. Well, I got away with brawling with Lord Capon, so I don't suppose they'll string me up for a few hairs. Great, Henry. I really appreciate it. The local tailor was asking me about getting some hairs to put on a feast for a visiting merchant. All right. I'll bring you something. Thank you. You'll be saving us from starvation. Farewell. Yes, I know we need a torch. I don't have one. So what exactly do we do about this then? Look, I, I don't know. Is that the tailor? Yeah. Look, the torch man isn't there. I haven't got a torch guard, so I don't know what you want us to do about it. Can I take that one? No, I can't. Right, well, you're just all going to have to get over yourselves then. Yeah, by law, by law, by law, whatever. Oh, I might be a bit tipsy off them two beers. I am. Right, let's uh, let's get back up to the uh, the inn then. You'll like it here, like sleeping on a cloud. It is. Yeah, we give him a. Uh, Good luck to you. We give him a little top up. Right, we'll uh, we'll go and have a sleep. See what we can do in the morning. Okay, um, we've slept till 6am, um, and I think the first thing we want to do is probably, we want to make sure that we're enrolled in the tournament, if the uh, if the fella's up yet, I don't think the innkeeper will be, um, and we could use a bit grub as well, um, and then I think we want to go and hunt them hares for Alex, uh, because we've been looking for a way to help out the Scallops folk since we got here, and we ha this is the first time we've actually had the chance to do it. Plus, we could certainly use a, a lot of archery training. We need 70 hair meat 
um, to to give them enough, and um, we we got quite, if not more than that, I think we had a couple of hundred by the time we were finished on the hunt with Capon, um, and that didn't take that long. So we'll go and see about the Tony first, and uh, and then we'll head off into the woods. Well, we uh, we don't seem to be able to find the guy, so guess we'll go hunt him first then. Oh, we've got a little house down here. Um, I'm not wearing my armor like, so... I hope it's not full of bandits. She doesn't look like a bandit. She might be one of them beggars. That... Oh, Herbalist. Right, okay. Hello, Herbalist. Um, Alchemy Bench. Okay, I wonder if she... Can you teach us about uh, making marigold decoctions, then? God save. What can I do for you? You too. Um, trade? No, unfortunately she hasn't got a recipe for um, Marigold decoction. Are you sure you're safe out here on your own? It's uh, These woods can be dangerous. I'm going to leave Pebbles here. Uh, please do not cook him up and put him in a potion. You can take a few horse hairs if you need them. Um, but just don't... I want him to be there. Still, when I come back, okay? Right, let's see if we can find some hairs. Yeah, this really doesn't seem like a good spot for hair. Um, we've, we've got... Um, I think where we went with Capon was up near Talmberg somewhere. Um, thank you for looking after Pebbles Herbalist. Uh, he is missing a few hairs. I thought you might have a go at them. Right, let's, um, let's go up towards uh, Talmberg, then past Neuhoff, and we'll see if we can find some hairs up there. Leave the horse here. We'll go into the woods and we'll see if we can find any. Got ya. Man, I am so bad at archery. Getting a little bit better, but I mean, I am so bad at this. Oh, that was a good one. So I think what I'm doing wrong is I'm waiting too long to fire the shot. It's uh, and he did say when they were teaching us to use the ball, everything should be in one motion. The uh, the draw and the release and the shot should be in one motion. So I think that's what I'm doing wrong. It's just quite difficult to time. Yes. Okay, that's the last one I think. We didn't get any archery skills unfortunately. But uh, we've uh, we've got enough meat for him now, so uh, we'll head back down and hope we haven't missed the deadline to apply for the tourney. Oh, it's already going on. For goodness sake. I missed it again. Oh, you must be the guy. What's going on with your leg? I'm assuming I'm too late, am I? Greetings. What business have you? I'd like to enroll in the big tournament. You just made it. I can still enroll oh. you, but first you'll have to pay the entrance stake. Okay. 
I mean, that's a lot, but sure, if we can win more. Of course. Here you are. What's your name? I'm Henry. From Scallops. I'll make a note of that. And I need to know what weapon you choose. Um. Oh, I can't have longsword and shield. Okay, then just longsword then. Longsword. I reckon it's what I'm best at. Good. Get yourself ready. You're next in line. Oh, that's a bit of serendipity, isn't it? Huh? Oh, wait, they must have taken out their inventory. Meeting face to face in this round will be Henry of Skelets from the company of Sir Ramsay Kubla. Yeah. And he will face. What nature is? From Sir Divish of Townburg's garrison. Okay. Wish the combatants luck. Get in, I'm wearing my scarlet colours. Uh. The combatants have entered the arena, and the first duel may commence. Let's commence, moustache. Duel with long swords. Yep. Here we go. Oh. Ha -ha. oh, he got it. Oh, he's not bad, this guy. He's not bad. Oh, we probably should have had something to eat. Like, we were a bit hungry. But we were too late in coming in, really. Okay, okay. Yeah! Get out of it! Oh! Come on then! Come on! He's pretty good, this guy. He is pretty good. Got him! Some sneaky stabs you gotta get in. Oh, nearly. Let's get them low. Pinch him again. Oh, we missed that one. Come on then. There. And slash. That's how we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him in the clinch. Come on. Oh, he got me that time. Come on then. Yes. Oh, oh. Nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I, didn't, I couldn't see my sword there. Oh, he got us. Come on, then. Oh, he's beating us all the time in that now. Does that mean my stamina's lower than his? Maybe it's just because we're getting more hungry. This is brilliant training. And we don't have to mess up our own gear. Yes. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Take that. You take that. Ha. Ah. Oh, we got it that time. Yeah, we're, we're missing the blocks now. Oh, we got out of the way of me faint. Down low. And this guy blocks everything. We need to move out the way. That's what we need to do. Come on, then. Come on. What's the matter? Lift your bowl? No. Oh. No. 
Let's see if we can get him with a combo. Got him. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> oh, this guy. Yeah. Oh, I think what we need to do is clinch him when he's up against the back. And then we can land some slashes on him. Yeah. But after we block him, and his stamina's down. There. Oh, still blocked it. We backed him up into a corner now, though. Come on. Come on. Oh, we got us. Yikes. Ow. Got him again. If we can land a combo on him after we block him, that's what we want to do. Come on then. Yes. Let's put the pressure on him. Oh. Jesus Christ. Yes. Come on. Finish him. Oh my god, what's it going to take to finish this guy? He's got a blooming granite chin, this guy. <laughs> Goodness me. Come on. There. Clinch. Down the middle. Got him. Stab. Yep. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this guy's pretty good, like. Damn me. And again, this is how we're going to get him. Oh, he's getting used to it. And we'll faint him. What if we go for like one of them and then stab? Oh, we can't. Yes. Oh, he's got to be nearly done now, surely. Oh. Wish we'd had something to eat. I need our strength. I did not expect this to be this difficult. Got him again. That's what we need to do. Get him back. Slash. We can get him every time with that. Oh. Come on. What is it going to take to kill this guy? Well, not kill him, but beat him. Come on, then. Yes. Down the middle. That's how we get him. That's definitely how we get him. Come on. There. Block. Clinch. And slash. Go low. Oh, I missed. Definitely needs to be a high strike after that clinch. It looks like we're only going to get one. Oh, unless we uh, unless we combo them, maybe if we can't. Push him back. Strike that side. Strike that side. Stab. No. We're gaining a lot of uh, experience here, though, which is great. Yes, got him with a stab. 
Man, this guy is difficult. Get him every time with that, though. If this is the first round, I don't think we're going to be winning this tournament. Oh, he's down. Yes, Henry from Scalots. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. <laughs> well played, mate. You were you were a beast. The second bout will surely be no less exciting. This one may decide the winner. Oh God, we have to fight this guy again. Can I have a bite to eat in between, or? Come on then. We can still get him with that. I think I'm still knackered off the last time, unless I'm just more hungry. In which case, he should be still knackered as well. In fact, he should be more knackered. No. Come on, then. Come on. Got him. <laughs> Let's clinch him. We can't. Oh. Oh. He's pretty good with the hood and the sword, this fella. That. His stamina must be down as well, then. Oh. Ah. He's fast as well. What's the matter? Look your bowl. Try it. You tell me. Come on. Right here, man. What are you waiting for? Oh. Come on. He's just trying to counter, that's all he's doing. Oh. But he has got more stamina than us. I think it might be because we're hungry. So when you get him with them one and dones. Oh. That's how we're gonna beat him. Oh, yikes. We need to put some emphasis on learning how to do proper combos. Oh. Yes. We need to hit his non-shield side as well. That's that's the other thing. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Do I do I need to choose when I'm yielding or, or what? Because uh, I could use a bandage. What? I didn't yield. Well, I hope we get a third. Okay, now we're using an axe. Three, the weapons for the third bout have been chosen by our gracious Sir Hanush. Prepare you to grace. watch a fierce fight with axes and shields. Okay, we need to beat him here, otherwise we lose this round. Come on then. I've got no experience with an axe whatsoever, but... Come on. 
think we could probably do the same thing. Oh. Yeah. We need to make sure we're using his stamina against him. So as soon as he misses, that. And then we need to attack his non-shield side. It's the side that he's got his axe on, that's what we need to do. There, push him away, and then attack that side. There. Come on. Clinch. And then that side. What about fix? Oh. Uh. How about you take this? Got him good there. Fucking hell. Don't know what that was. But he certainly seems to have more stamina than us. Let's see if we can get him low. Nah, too slow. Oh, nice. Oh. Ah, pressed the wrong button there. Come on then. Yes. Come on. Oh, we've leveled up. Come on, you. Not even close. Pushed us away. Oh. He knocked us out there. That's where we're getting the good hits on him, that. We just need to be careful of our stamina, though. We can keep hitting them like that. He's always got a counter, though. That's the problem with him. Too short. Come on. Back him up into them bloody posts again. Yeah, you and all. Oh. He normally has something coming back at you, that. Why are we not getting the uppercuts on him? That's what I'd like to know. Get him with a gun. Got him. Right in the head. Oh. in the head again that's where we want to hit him and again oh he's ready for it that time 
All right, then we'll get him in the side, and then the head. Get out of here. Got him again. We're going to keep hitting him like that every time we can. There it is again. And push him back and then clonk him on the head. He's, he's not going to want more, more, much more of this. Yes. Oh, he must be he must be right on the edge. Still didn't get him. Yeah, you too. Come on, that shows why. Oh, didn't expect that coming back. Shouldn't have done that. Ooh. Come on. That's got to start hurting him soon. Not at all. Why is he not going down? Oof. Come on. Plunk him on the head again. And again. Come on. Yeah. Why is this guy not finished? He's got some chin on him. Come on. On that side. Oh, he blocked it. Why was he ready for that one? Oh. Come on then. Not even close. Plunk him on the head again. Oof. Ah. Nah. Not even a little bit. Oof. Why can this guy take so much? Tell you what, if Sigismund did attack, they had this guy there in Tomberg. They'd be in for a bit of a shock. From twice that. Will you please go down? I want my money. I want the fortune and glory, friend. Fortune and glory. Oh. Oh. Okay. Ah. Right, let's just go mental on him. Oh, we can't. We can't. We haven't got the stamina. He doesn't get perfect blocks that often. I think in a flurry we could probably beat him. wrong that time is that even hurting them like oh oh, oh. what oh Okay, mate, you fought a good fight. I kinda I kinda complain about that. Don't you star.
Oh, uh, well. We're going to have to enter again once we're a bit better, but we got a lot of experience there. Well done, um, Freya. You were you were brilliant. Meeting face are, we, uh, are we roughed up or what? Yeah, we're a little bit roughed up. Well, I did not expect that to take as long as it, it did. It, it took a good few hours. Let's... Um... Well, it's not the, the best quality, but let's go and give that to uh, Alex then before it spoils. Jake the Steak, a brewery hand from Ratai. Welcome, our warriors. That was fun. Uh, we, we definitely want to do that again next week. Alex, got some good news for you, mate. God be with you. Got that game meat for you? Yeah, that's great. Sure, we'll give him all eighty-seven. Thanks, Henry. We'll get lots of supplies for this. Another order. The master armor is mounting a banquet, and he wants to serve venison and cream sauce. Oh, right, I get it. Hunt down a deer, milk a cow, and skim the cream. Wouldn't he like me to churn some butter to cook it in while I'm at it? <laughs> Just the venison will do, thanks. Take care. Me, I didn't sign up for like an ongoing thing. I'm, uh, I'm just trying to do me bit. Well, we definitely need some food. Um, let's, uh, let's go up to the inn. Hello, ale housemaid. Good God! What happened to your clothes? If you were robbed, you should report it. I was, I was in the tournament and I didn't win. Let's. Uh, Yeah, we'll have, uh, you know what, we'll have all four bits of pork you got there. And we'll have a seat. Oh, the rain's gone off. Oh, we made a pig of ourselves again. Um, you know, if we were if we were nourished when we were fighting that tournament, I think things would have gone a lot differently. But we definitely need to practice the combos a little bit. And... Uh, and then we'll do just fine there, I think. Let's just see if we got any points from that, because we leveled up quite a bit. We'll get first aid two, and then we can apply our healing skill in dialogues. Uh, the rest of them don't really seem that good. I guess we'll get burger, because that gives us um, strength, agility, vitality, and speech in towns. Um, and while it would be quite nice to have in the wilds as well, um, I'm more interested in the tournament, to be honest. I, I think... Once you get to a certain level with certain gear, the bandits and everything in the woods are not that much of a big deal. Yeah, I think we will get that as well. And we'll get Scar Maker as well. Um, I'm not really interested in any of these perks, so we'll leave them for now. Um, but I think we will... What time is it? Five o'clock. I think we've got time, depending on where it is, to go after them bandits that uh, robot uh, Bernard told us about. Mm, that's pretty far away. I don't think we'll get there in time. Um, let's see if... Uh, oh, we don't really have enough money to go and train with uh, Bernard either. Right, um, I think what we'll do then, since we don't have a lot of time, we'll go and speak to the bailiff and uh, see if we can help out with the Scalot folks. Um... And that should, uh, it, it's roughly in the same area and it'll keep us around here so that uh, we're not out in the wilds when it's getting dark and we can't see anything. Um, I guess we should probably get a torch as well, really, um, because they always kick off about us not having a torch at night. Um, uh, maybe the general goods guy will... There's actually, there's a... Oh, hold on, has he got torches outside of his... Is there a reason you just... Yeah, he doesn't know where he's going. Um, are these... Oh, no, that's stealing. Right, okay. No, we'll uh, we'll go to the torch stall. We'll uh, we'll support small business. Why not? That merchant's clearly got plenty of money. I hope he doesn't charge a fortune for his torches, though. Yeah, him. He sells cabbages and torches, I think. Hello there, Mr... Random stuff Kettles salesman. For water. I'm glad to see you. And I'm glad to see you. See what we can do. 
No, it's only two Groshen. We can certainly afford that. Uh, we'll do that, and uh, sure, we'll just give him what he's asking. Thank you very much. Right, so we should stop getting kitchen, into trouble now. The field, my fine wares yes, okay. Every day. Good for you. Right, let's um, let's get over to the beer lift. Hopefully he's still open. And uh, we'll just nip under this arch as well and stick our armour on because uh, we want to look the part. And maybe have a bit of a wash in that trough and all. Actually, this stuff's pretty clean anyway, so we should be okay. Right, let's uh, let's go and have a word with them then. They're bail uh, bailiff. I nearly called them bailish there. <laughs> Too much Game of Thrones. Hmm. Nice tapestry. I hope I can be of help to you, knight. Oh yes, I love it when they call us knight. Uh, I heard you. Uh, I heard you needed help. I'm guessing it's this one. Master Bailiff, is there anything of interest going on here? Nothing of interest to me, thanks, Grace. Okay. Um, I heard you needed help, though. You look like you've got a lot on your plate, Master Bailiff. Is work keeping you busy? Busy? I've had so many visitors, I wouldn't wonder if the door fell off its hinges. What's going on? I've been given the task of putting some of the Scarlet's refugees to work. It's not that there's a shortage of jobs. The problem's sharing them out fairly. I understand. Everyone has mouths to feed. The worst part is they won't tell you who really needs a job the most. But you might be able to help, Henry. How? They're like to be more honest with you. So you can find out who's in the most need. And you can decide for yourself who'll do what. Will you help? Um... Yeah, for sure. If you need help, I'll do whatever I can. You're a godsend. I'm sure it won't take too long. You know how the refugees are getting on, don't you? But ask around if you need to find out more. What kind of work are we talking about? Well, old Hagen is looking for a cook, and we need three, actually five, carriers. A cook and five water carriers? That sounds simple enough. Is there a problem? A little. We need three water carriers, but the other two will have to carry... Begging your pardon, shit. Or as the Pope would say, excrement. Okay. I think uh, I think we'll be having a word with Kunesh. Um, anyone can tell us more? Is there anyone who can tell me more about it? Yes, the merchant Conrad Hagen is the one looking for a cook, so you can talk to him. And young Alex will know which of the Scarlet's folk are best suited to the job. Yeah, I know Alex. Um... Why does it trouble you so much? How come that's such a cause for concern? For one thing, they're afraid of me. And I can't get a straight answer out of any of them. So how the hell am I supposed to make the right choice? Well, they're desperate. You can't blame them. I don't, but I might end up picking some good-for-nothing who'll just booze his wages away. Well, that, that is Kunash, but... Uh, tell me more about the cook's job. Can you tell me anything more about the cook? You'll have to ask Hagen yourself. I couldn't get a straightforward answer out of him. Maybe he's changed his mind. What about the carriers? What do I need to know about the water carriers? We need three. Right now, some of the burgers hands are doing the job. And they need to go all the way down to the river for water. Of course, where else would they get it? Gallows Hill? It's not an easy job, but someone has to do it. What about the others? What can you tell me about the other... Carriers. It's dirty, but it's a job that needs to be done. There'll be more than enough work for them. Some places are overflowing. Ew. Disgusting. Why would anyone want the job? If all else fails, I'll pay two groschen for every one I pay the water carriers. That might convince someone. Okay. That's all I need to know. Good luck, then. Good luck to you. Now, look... Kunesh is is I'm gonna offer him the shit carrying job. Um He's uh he is probably gonna booze his wages away. And that's a problem, and it's probably gonna reflect poorly on us, but this guy has been out of work and he's been desperate for coins since the very start. So maybe he will appreciate being offered a job. We've forgiven his debt, so it's not like we're it's not like we're asking him to do anything crazy. 
Why don't we have a word with uh, with Alex and see who he recommends? Is he still over by the? Uh... He's not. Okay. Well, let's see if we can find Alex first of all then. Maybe first we should speak to the merchant because he might close up. Um, whereas the uh, the refugees are pretty much always accessible. So we'll have a word with uh, Mr. Hagen. Um, oh, you're a trader. I thought you were a customer, right, Hagen? I'm at your service, Sir Knight. These people are starting to respect me. I hear you're looking for a cook. The bailiff sent me. He said you're looking for a cook. That's right. I'm searching for a good cook. But I've said all that to our esteemed bailiff. Well, I offered the bailiff my help because I know the scallop folk. Ah, I see. Well, ask away then. What do you expect? Do you have any particular requirements for the new cook? Well, it would be an advantage if she knew how to cook. Well, yes, but the bailiff said you had other conditions. Well, I want a woman who's capable of looking after the house when Don't we all? Young, business. young, nimble. What Sounds about food? right. I want her to impress people with her food, not her face. Are we didn't say nothing about her face, mate. Sorry. Uh, water carriers? I also heard there are vacant carrier jobs. Yes, yes. I'm surprised it hasn't occurred to anyone sooner. It will certainly benefit the city if the burgers don't have to send their own servants. It will benefit my people as well. Of course, of course. It goes without saying. And uh, you need the ship carriers as well. I also heard that you need workers to carry... Uh, to empty latrines. It's not dignified to talk of such manners. That's not a concern for decent people. But I need to know. Enough. I won't have such talk in my home. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, well, Akunash is definitely not a decent fella. So we, uh, we may be able to get him with that job. Uh, let's go find Alex then. Ah, here he is. Alex, there you are. Let's get out the way of the door. God be with you. My goodness, it echoes in here, doesn't it? Um, let's talk about some jobs for our, our people. I'd like to ask about our former neighbours. There are jobs here for some of them, and I have to pick people. But the bailiff told me about it. He still wants our people to do the knacker's job? But what of it? It will benefit everyone. Not everyone. There's not enough work for everyone. And no one wants to do the knacker's job. Look, mate, we've got now here. It's better than now. I'd be doing it if I didn't get took in the Radzig service. But having a job could save someone's life. Water carrying, maybe. But if they have to do a job that's not fit for a decent person, only for the knacker or the executioner's servant? So you think there's no point in it? That it's better to beg than have a job? Even if it is whoring shit. You forget that that's a job for the knacker's hired hand, not for displaced people. I'm sorry, your royal highness. They'll never be able to rid themselves of the stink. I mean, that's that's a good point. Uh, do you know about anyone? So, do you know who's most in need of some coin and is fit for hard work? Everyone's in need of coin, but not everyone is fit for such work. Well, who should I talk to? Then? Where will I find them? I'll talk to them myself and send them to meet you in front of the rat house, so they'll all be in one place. It'll take me a while. Okay then, and uh, do you know anything about a cook? I'm also looking for a cook. Do you know of a good cook who's looking for work? Well, there's Agnes. I've heard she can cook better than anyone. Only... Well, what's the problem? Did something happen to her? No, it's just that I haven't seen her around here for ages. I believe she's cooking for the local parish priest and living at the presbytery. So I don't think she's in need of work. Okay. Thanks. I'll go. God be with you. Right, well, you go round them up, Alex, and uh, I'll have a look for... That couldn't be Agnes, could it? No. Uh, right. Agnes, Agnes, Agnes. Oh. Well. <laughs> that was easy. I don't want to interrupt our prayer, though. Beneath thy mercy we take refuge, O blessed Lord. We'll, uh, we'll give her a minute. Okay, I don't think she's going to stop praying. Right, I'm, I'm sorry, Agnes, but I am going to have to interrupt you, love. 
God's blessings. You too. Sorry to interrupt you. Um, are you the housekeeper from Robna? Are you Agnes, who works at St. James? I am. Or I did. Before those devils rolled in and burnt down Scalitz. Why do you ask? I'm looking for a good cook and housekeeper. And everyone I asked sent me to you. Oh, I've been blessed by God. <laughs> so it seems. Well, you pretty often enough. Anyway, the local merchant wants someone who can cook food fit for nobility and take care of his household. Well... Father Francis was very fond of good food, but I can't just go serve someone else. That's a that's a good last that that's loyalty. Um, why not? Why not? Oh, whoa! I didn't. Because I'm still. Father yes, Francis I know. I just I was just asking. I didn't want to lose reputation. And isn't coming back. What? Don't pay any attention. They're just rumors. I'm still his housekeeper. What happened to him? Where's Father Francis now? I don't know. The last time I saw him, he was going to confession in Sassau. But that was before all these terrible things happened. I've heard no word of him since then. Does he go to Sassau often? Where does he stay when he's there? Not so often. About once a month. He always used to stay in the inn near the monastery, so he wouldn't have far to go. I'll ask around about what happened to Father Francis. I'll let you know. Goodbye. Oh. And I thought this was going to be something we could do in a couple of minutes. <laughs> right, well, I guess at some point we're going to be going to Sassau then. Um, we'll, uh, we'll go and see how Alex is getting on, rounding people up outside the church, and we'll see if we can give them jobs out first. Seems like everything we try to do for these people ends up in a merry song and dance. I guess there's probably a reason why uh, there's not many folks keen on helping them. You give them an inch, and they take a mile. Um, right, well, Alex has not rounded anyone up so far. Well, we, we can't really do anything um, until he rounds them up. I, I don't know if Teresa's got a job. I know she's staying at the mill, but I don't know if she's actually doing mill work. Let's, uh, let's go and see if she's interested in... I don't know if she's a good cook either, but I guess Agnes is going to be the best choice for that. Is that Kunesh? Yeah, well, I think we know who we're giving the shit-carrying job to. Hi, Kunesh. Oh. Well, never mind. I guess we have to wait for him to round them up first. We'll go and have a word with... Uh, oh, but with them, we're not going to be able to offer anything to Teresa either. Um, Okay. So... We've got some stuff to sell. Got some armor on the horse from them bandits. We'll uh, we'll get that sorted, and hopefully Alex will sort himself out in the meantime. Let's talk about the price. Yeah, we'll meet you at one fifty-five. Oh, that's a decent price. Lovely. Well, that's uh, that's pretty good. We got one hundred and fifty-five groschen. That'll get some nice training in with um, with Captain Bernard. Are you one of the people that Alex has sent down, or? Are you just trying to get out of the way of the rain? God be with you. Yeah, you're uh, you're just trying to get out of the rain. Okay then. Well, um, I guess we'll uh, we'll go to the tavern and then we'll have a couple of drinks. Might as well. We've got nothing to do while we're waiting for him to do that. Maybe have a game of dice. You're a shady looking fella, aren't you? Milan. Jesus Christ be praised. Oh, you're the Fight Club guy. I thought you'd look a bit rougher, if I'm honest. Are you the brawler who takes bets? What's it to you? I'm a Scalitz refugee, and I'd like to try my luck against you. Hang on, I know who you are. And I'll only fight you for silver. Got it? Bring it. Um, I don't want to fight in me armour, though. Any rules? Are there any rules? Aye, a couple. Whoever lands on his arse or runs, loses. And no knives, axes, or any of that shit. You'll forfeit your wager for that, got it? Go on, then. All right, let's fight, then, if you think you can take me. Hold your horses, laddie. First, you have to prove you're a worthy opponent for me by beating two other regular brawlers, Stephen and a fellow they call Ringlet. 
Okay then. Let's uh Let's go find Steven and Ringlet then. That'll give us something to do while we're waiting for him to sort them out. Unless they're also Scarlet guys, like, in which case we might mess things up a little bit, but never mind. Um, I saw Ringlet not long ago. Let's see if we can find him. Ah, okay. So they're going to be waiting during the day. And uh, there's Alex there. Right, we'll uh, we'll have to see them tomorrow then. But at least we've got this, uh, this fighting to do beforehand. Ringlet. Oh, yeah, yo. Jesus Christ be praised. Yeah, um... Huh? Okay, well, apparently we can't ask Ringlet about it, so let's see if we can ask Stephen. Well, we, uh, we found Ringlet, but apparently we can't uh, ask him about fighting for some reason. So I guess we have to speak to this Stephen. Um, it is getting on a little bit though, and uh, the episode's getting on a little bit as well. So we're going to head back to the inn, and we'll take a kip. Um, and then in episode 7, we'll start taking a look around. We'll have to go to Sasau and uh, see if we can find the parish priest. We'll um, have a look at the people that Alex has rounded up. We'll try and get the uh, the fight club started we'll take out the bandits and also try and get some training in with Captain Bernard if we've got time now that we've got some money so uh, we're going to have a busy time in episode 7 this one we've had a bit of a day off in this one um, been running around doing tournaments bit of hunting, poaching had a little walk with Teresa so uh, we've had uh, we've certainly had a bit more of a relaxed time of it in episode 6 than I think we have at any other point in this playthrough so far. It's been all doom and gloom to this point. So, uh, yeah, we'll go up there for a kip and uh, we'll call it a day. So, I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye now.